Uh, good afternoon, everybody. This is the next webinar of Swiss Rotors. This time it will be about the, we call it hex wall, that means counter flow heat exchangers in one casing, allowing to use this without any additional diffuser uh, diaphragm inside the air handling units. Just slide in and install in air handling units for the higher air volumes. So how we decided to use it? I will be going through the presentation. Also, we have a live product here, uh, which is for around 5,000 cubic meters per hour. So I will try to explain you how we design it, how the air goes through it, and how you can get the benefits from this solution. So just a short overview, uh, how it is and what we were thinking designing it. And by the way, we received a patent for that for that kind of the solution, of course. So hex wall system increase the L volume uh, to the air handling units. So you can distribute much higher air volumes. And the idea is to connect parallelly the counter flow plate heat exchangers. The counter flow heat exchanger designed to use the fun its functionality in large ventilation systems that instead of having a smaller plates and smaller uh, uh, plate counter flow plate heat exchangers, we can have it in a bigger volumes. And of course, this will give all the benefits of the counter flow plate heat exchangers. I mean, higher efficiency, uh, low pressure drop during the passage of the air. Uh, so shortly, how does it work? So, because Idea was to make, a, because everybody were using earlier the plate cross heat exchangers, but very easy understanding how the air passes through the heat exchangers. So in the counter flow, especially for the bigger sizes, bigger air volumes, it's a bit different. So there was a lot of problems with the installation inside the air handling units, a lot of smaller heat exchangers. So we decided to build some common casing where we have, in this case, this is HV1100. We have a three rows of that kind of the heat exchangers. And the length of this total length, of course, is from the bottom up to top. And these are one, two, and three. And the air goes through like in the normal uh, plate cross heat exchanger. For example, if the supply is in the top, so it's going from this side, going down, and going up on the other side. And the exhaust air, of course, in the different way, going from the bottom, going here, and going up. Sorry, going up. So how does it uh, look? We just, as you can see, made some dividers, and uh, uh, we closed the airflow. So when the air coming in, it's going on the left side, on the other side, and it's exhausting from the other side of the heat exchanger. On those uh, some uh, drawings and the sketch, it shows how the air goes through it. And of course, the principle of the heat exchangers, of the counter flow heat exchangers, are the same everywhere. So it's going more or less similar like in the, like in the uh, cross plate heat exchanger. So going this direction through this counter flow and then going up. And the, of course, the exhaust is going a different way. This one, parallel counter flow, and then going out. So thanks to it, you don't need to think how to install the single counter flow plate heat exchangers, because we did it for you in common casing. Of course, uh, for the Europe conditions, or for the climates when we have a possibility of freezing, we need to have a bypass. So. We have decided that the bypass, depending on the, what was the better from the efficiency point of view and an installation of the uh, exchangers, how many rows we can place, how many, and in the, in, I mean, in the, the top of each other, so the total height, how could it be? Uh, we decided to use in the, the bypasses in the both direction. I mean the top, so then you have to reserve the bypass like this case, uh, in the top of the heat exchangers, you just need to install the, uh, the air dampers on this side and the other side. So when you need to make a bypass, you just open this bypass, I mean this bypass uh, damper, and on the other side, you close uh, this 
air damper. So the air going through it, and we have this opening here and going to the other side without passing through the heat exchangers. And the other one, like on the drawings in the presentation, uh, this you see the height is much higher. So we, in this case, the bypass will be installed behind the heat exchangers. You can see the small gap. And the, the idea will be that the bypass will be here. Of course, the length of the bypass, it was calculated to have the same pressure drops through the heat exchangers and through the bypass. So when you just close the, the dampers, the air will go with the same more or less pressure drops to the bypass as it would go through the heat exchangers. So those gives us the possibility to use the same plate. We will use only one type of the heat exchanger size. It will be uh, our uh, size called the CA or CP31. And then we will use only two type of the plates. In Europe, quite popular are this high polystyrene, uh, I mean uh, high impact polystyrene, HIPS, or aluminum. The, when those conditions where they required aluminum, it would, the plates will be made of aluminum. So that's only one uh, plate size, of course different lengths and different number of the rows. And this allow us to give you more air volume going through it. And you do not need to make some dividers, diaphragms, uh, some diffusers, air guides to direct the air through all the, of the heat exchangers. So these are the, your benefits which uh, will be done. So you just need to slide it in. And then, of course, we have a drain pan in the bottom. If there will be any condensation, then the, the water go to the end and then go through. Uh, we have on the other side, it's not so here, uh, we will have uh, drain tubes. So this is a very, very easy installation. So what kind of the advantages? In this uh, presentation, you see, as I was talking, the kind of the hex wall with the side bypass. On the left side, you see this uh, bypass. On the top, there is a, some uh, air damper, which closes or open, depending if you need to go through the bypass or not. So we will use a smaller plates, uh, heat exchangers, in a few rows and the different lengths according the dimension with the bypass will be similar to our RTE series of the rotary wheels. So theoretically, you can use or those uh, counterflow plate heat exchangers or our RTE wheels series. The dimension will be the same, external, of course, including the bypass. And then it will be very easy to calculate. You just, uh, we will, uh, per size, there will be given, of course, total length of the heat exchangers inside, so it will be easy for calculations. And then, thanks to the lower speed of the air going through the heat exchangers, you will have a high efficiency. So there will be efficiency well above the, our ERP requirements. And what are the sizes? So we are starting uh, with uh, 1,400 uh, cubic meters per hour and ending with 2,400 cubic meters per hour. And the, those given in the table sizes, of course, are without the bypass dimensions, but we will give you recommended bypass dimension which should be kept in order to keep the same uh, pressure drops when the air is going through the bypass or through the heat exchangers. So we hope that uh, this solution enable to use the Counter counterflow plate heat exchangers, also for the bigger air volumes, as you see, 24,000 uh, cubic meters per hour is not bad. So, and this solution will be easier for the installation, of course. This is the, you are saving time on the installation, designing the, the position of it, plate heat exchanger inside the air handling units. So this will allow you much easier accommodation and the replacement of uh, plate cross heat exchangers for the counterflow plate heat exchangers. So, and then those counterflow plate heat exchangers, of course, have a higher efficiency, so higher energy recovery. And that's what we are promoting uh, at Swiss Rotors. So I hope uh, that this was just the base information 
about the, our hex wall solution. And of course, if you would like to have uh, more information, more details, just send us email, uh, send us inquiries, send us some questions, and we'll be more than happy to reply to your questions. And then let's work together to have a higher efficiency air handling units and air conditioning system in the buildings. Thank you very much, and we will meet soon with the next webinar.